Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A frustrated viewer reached out to us multiple times this summer about his disgusting neighborhood viaduct. He sent us pictures showing a sidewalk blocked by garbage on different days, and it's hardly the only walkway with this stinky problem. Morning Insider Lauren Victory shows us how the city responds to these filthy complaints. Viewers have grumbled to us about nasty pigeon poo, concerning cracks, and peeling paint. For as long as I've worked here, they have been talk about the conditions of the viaducts. Pretty nice, huh? Safety and cleanliness in our underpasses is not something Chicago residents take lightly. CBS2 found more than 300 viaduct-specific complaints to 311 in less than three years. Most are marked completed, like large piece of metal dangling and about to fall in Calumet Heights and falling debris in traffic lanes in Chatham. Seemingly resolved, but how? More than a third of the time, Chicago's Department of Transportation passed problems off, referring them to railroad companies for investigation. CDOT does take on pothole repairs. Crews also fix broken lights, which is no longer a recurring complaint at viaducts like this one on 67th and MLK Drive. For the trash here and reported at least 80 times across other locations, our records show a city response of no viaduct cleaning program. We wondered how that solves the problem. Well, CDOT explained those complaints are forwarded to the Department of Streets and Sanitation. Frankly, it's hard to tell if Streets and Sands addressed those gripes about garbage. Depends what's considered clean. So let me show you right here. We do know activist Nancy Plax's incessant emails to the city about her dilapidated University Village viaduct finally got results. CDOT came out for a tour and left with a promise. Painting it'll be great for that. Apparently, persistence is key, so there's no harm in keeping 311 complaints coming. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. A spokesperson for the Department of Streets and Sanitation says viaduct cleaning is part of its street sweeping program and is also done on an as-requested basis.